All right, here we're going to demonstrate, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to demonstrate a buck boost transformer connection. As of right now, this is a 24 volt center tap, well it's actually 25, 26 volt center tap transformer, 120 to 25 volt. This of course is just an LED lamp. This is the present voltage coming from the power line through this connector 122 volts by using the secondary of the transformer and wiring it appropriately depending on phase angle into the primary of the transformer I can boost or reduce the output voltage to the lamp to mine uh, I can subtract 25 volts or so or I can add 25 volts or so. So let me disconnect the power. These yellow leads are the secondary. So I'm going to move. Now I have these secondary winding in series with the 120 volt winding on the primary depending on how I switch the wires the two yellow connections will either boost the voltage or reduce the voltage let's see what happens okay the phasing is 180 degrees out of phase so they add so you can see the voltage is boosted up to 150 volts from 122 Let's take watch the two yellow wires real closely. Two yellow wires, I'm going to reverse them. Okay, reverse the two yellow connections. Now I've dropped it to about 90 volts. If you need an oddball transformer like uh, 150 volts, you can use this to make one. Let's look at on paper uh, a draw electrical drawing and a little more explanation. Here is an illustration of my transformer connected in the boost configuration. <coughs> Excuse me. You notice there's two dots here, one on the primary winding, one on the secondary winding. If your transformer is marked like that, and I'm going to argue in this example, these two fa windings are in phase relative to each other, and these two markings. Normally, in electromagnetic induction, the induced voltage is out of phase. So, if I take one side, and I'm going to this is neutral, this is the hot side, this is 120 volts AC in this case. If I connect the top of the primary winding to the lower end of the secondary winding, they are 180 degrees out of phase. The voltages will add and give me a V out of 150 volts AC that you saw in the video. Think of it this way, if they're out of phase, that means when this widening here is going positive, relative to this bottom part of this winding is going negative. Well, if you connect plus to minus when you're putting batteries in series, doesn't the voltage add? AC does the same thing, depending on the phase angle. And I'm going to argue they're perfectly 180 degrees out of phase. And thus they will add. All right, in this configuration, I am using the buck configuration. I have connected the top of the primary of the transformer to the top of the secondary winding. And they are both in phase relative to each other. When this half of the in this coil is going positive, this winding here relative to the bottom here is also going positive.
Well, if you do two batteries in series and you connect positive to positive instead of positive to negative, they normally subtract. It does the same thing in transformers depending on phase. So if I have 120 volts in and I have 30 volts on the secondary subtracting from the 120 volts, my voltage out, such as the lower voltage you saw in the video, is now 90 volts AC. So remember in the case of connecting these transformer windings in series, if they are in phase, the voltages subtract. If they are 180 degrees out of phase, they will add. And so this is a brief in introduction to buck and boost transformer connections. Thanks for listening. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.